If you're like me, you will have millions of pictures on your phone of your pets. I try to take spontaneous pictures of them all the time. But unfortunately, with spontaneity comes a little bit of editing needed. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you how I use Lightroom to edit my photos. So if you want your photo to go from this to this, watch this video to learn how. Hi, this is Caroline from the Pet Sitter Soli Home. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I use Lightroom to edit my photos. So first of all, you need to download Lightroom. This is a free app that you can get on your phone. So once you've downloaded the app, you can then here, you can then import your picture from your gallery. I've already done this and I've got this picture of Ivan. So as you can see, he's sat in the kitchen sink. This is not an uncommon thing for Ivan. He is the mischief maker in this household. So the picture is not looking great. It could do with rotating slightly because it's not particularly straight. The light isn't great either. Obviously, the light is coming from the blinds, so it's behind him. I've also got artificial light on the right hand side um, that's reflecting on him. So, and I've also got here, I've got some of our recycling, so I don't really want that in the picture. But we can change all that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to crop the picture. So I want to straighten it up just to make it a little bit straighter. So there we go. So that looks a little better. Now I want to get rid of my recycling and possibly uh, my dishcloth that's in the right hand corner here, a left hand corner. So let's just crop it. Now there is something called the rule of thirds. So when these grid lines are on, where the grid lines cross, that's where you kind of want to put your sort of focal point of your image. This is entirely up to you how you want to do it. Um, but I'm just going to have a play with it until I feel that it looks how I want it to look. And there we go. So once I've done that, I'm just going to click on the tick to say yes. So the next thing I do, I've got sort of lots of different options down the bottom here. So I'm going to, I have some presets that I've already um, done myself. So I tend to sort of go for a lot of um, sort of darker grey colours, so things like that. So but I'm not going to use those today, I shall show you how I do it. So first of all, we're going to sort the light out. So you just have a play with it. You obviously don't want to make it too overexposed. You can just sort of move the cursor up and down to see what works for you. You can then go into the colour. So the white balance, you could click on that and then this will help with the white balance. So it will look at how the light is and automatically work out sort of the how it needs to adjust things like the the light. So by moving it around it will just change so I think I'm happier with that one although for me that's too a bit too orangey but I can sort that out in a minute. So saturation, this will just take away the colours or enhance the colours. Vibrance, just again, makes the picture 
a little bit more orange. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit. And then tint. This will make it go more purpley or more green. So I'm just going to stick it pretty much in the middle there. So now I'm going to move on to the colour. So I click on this mix and here where it's gone a, a little bit too orange for my liking, I can click on the orange and just take away that orange or if I wanted to enhance the orange and just have a play with it. Just by moving the cursor up and down until you get to how you want it to be. going to go back to the light just give it a little bit more exposure now some of the effects that you can do you could add a vignette around it around the image so it's, so I can make it look like that or I can go the other way and put a darker one like that. So I might just, because I've got the natural, um, I've got unnatural light sort of over this side, I might just sort of put the vignette there to kind of hide that. You can change the clarity of it so we can go from blurry So it's really just great to just have a play around. I'm going to crop it slightly more, I think. I just want to get rid of some of the blind there. So I'm going to go back to my crop. I tend to do all my pictures um, in a one by one. If you want to change it, just tick that. So if you want to change it, go back to crop, click on original, and then you can have it however you want to. So you can have it like that. I just always have mine as a one by one purely because when they do go onto social media, I think a one by one looks better. So looking at the picture, I'm now thinking that the sink, the edges of the sink here, I kind of want them to go centre point of the picture. There we go, that looks better to me. Now if you had something I don't know, if there was something sat on the surface here that I didn't want, you can use the healing tool. And for this, you can just draw a line and then you can, it will take a part of the picture from somewhere else and put it on your, where you're trying to hide something. But we don't need that in this picture. Right, I'm just going to go to geometry. So with the blinds, you can see that they, it's obviously the way I've taken the picture because it was spontaneous. They're not um, horizontal. So what we'll do is you can move the picture around like that. And it just brings it up and down or you can move it horizontally.
So again, it's just really having a play. So once you've done that, you then need to save the image to your phone. So, and all you have to do is save to device. And that is that. You've now got a picture ready to post on social media.